Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today, let's talk color. Being anglers, most of us are interested in colors. Whether we swing flies, spoons, spinners, crankbaits, or jigs, everybody is searching for that color combo that is just irresistible to anything with fins. We probably use as much time talking color as we do talking weather and bad excuses for not catching the big one today. Den kan ikke være der. Damn! So, let's play around a bit with the topic. When you're trying to imitate a very specific bait fish, shrimp, crayfish or frog, well, the job at hand is kind of a no-brainer. You just look at the critter you're trying to imitate and find a good match in your fly or bait box. But sometimes the imitating game isn't the most effective approach. One example of this is when you fish your brown mottled scalpin imitation among thousands of the real deal. Why should a predator pick out one fly or lure that tries to camouflage itself in a crowd? An all black or all white sculpin might have a better chance of being chosen. The body profile is still right, but the color make it stand out. But let's just for a second forget the imitation game and the theoretical discussion about how fish see and just focus on sheer visibility. Fish rely to varying degree on sonar and hearing when looking for prey, but mostly they use sight. To be able to see anything, daylight or white light is important. Daylight consists of a mix of colors. Some of you might remember the prism and rainbow experiment from your school days. Seeing a lure with a mixture of colors over water gives you all the details. Every color is vibrant and visible. When your lure goes underwater, it's a different story. Water absorbs light already when your fly is half an inch below the surface. 25% of the light is lost, partly due to reflection from the surface. 3 feet down, 55% of the light is gone. At 30 feet, only 22% is left. And this is all considering you fish in crystal clear oceanic water. If you fish in stained, dirty or algae affected water, light can be totally gone a few feet down. But for now, let's say we stay in clear water. Most important thing though is, as the light diminishes, the colors get weaker as well. Okay, which colors are the first to disappear? Since it's hard to find a lure that represent nearly all colors, 
I've chosen a selection of lures that does. Now let's go to the lab and simulate what happens as we enter deeper water and the colors disappear one by one. First up, this is what these lures look like above the surface. But now let's go deeper. Red is the first casualty. In totally perfect condition, flat surface, sun right overhead, clear oceanic water. Red color will appear gray from 17 feet and down. On dark days, at dusk or in murky, stained and dirty water, red can be totally gone a few feet down. The next color that disappears is orange. Red and orange, and white for that matter, is great for lures fished near the surface on sunny days. The same can be said about black actually, since it makes a highly visible silhouette against the sky. Actually, anything goes as long as there's enough light. Let's go deeper. When you go a bit deeper and turn down the light even more, yellow disappears. Deeper and green will be the next to give up. A bit deeper and all you got left is the blue, purple and black spectrum. Now let's make that simulation again, this time speed it up a bit. Watch closely. Okay, all good. But there are some exceptions from the rules. A lot of different environmental issues can complicate things. Nothing really turns down light more efficient than wind. A flat surface reflects less light than a choppy surface. That's one of the reasons why trout love a good wave. In fact, they just like the light reduction. In algae, Infested waters, green light is the only color pre penetrating the water column. Chartreuse lures are very useful here. In coffee or tea stained water, the golden and red color stand out. Red, yellow and orange work great as long as there's enough light. When darkness fall, it's back to the blue, black and purple combo. Then there's a UV color and other complicated stuff. I won't go into that, since I would be afraid to sound like a 10-year-old kid sharing his wisdom on women. That's all for today guys, hope you found this useful, thanks for watching.